Hi, I'm Meg Finley, and I'm a stream monitor with the Loudoun Wildlife Conservancy. This video is the second in a series demonstrating the technique we use to monitor uh, stream health in Loudoun County, Virginia. The methodology we use was developed by the Virginia Save Our Streams program. Here we have the equipment that we will use to monitor this ripple here in the stream. Now it's important to note that this methodology is appropriate for ripples such as these. A ripple is defined as an area of rocks and cobbles that are between 2 and 10 centimeters in diameter. And you'll see that this area is different from the slower moving pools upstream and also downstream. This methodology is also not appropriate for sandy bottom or muddy bottom streams that we often find in the uh, plains area closer to the coast, the coastal plains of Virginia. Okay, going through the equipment briefly before we get out in the stream, we have everything set up. We're ready to go. And this is the net that we will use to collect the aquatic invertebrates that inhabit the bottom of the stream in this ripple. We will then carry this net over to the table and lay it on the table and begin to analyze what we have. These are the tools we have to do that. Backing up, first of all, we also use this with the net to help collect the insects. And we have some gloves as well to protect ourselves from any glass that might be on the bottom of the stream. Once we bring the net over to the table, we have a spray bottle full of stream water that we use to spray the net down. And this helps move the insects. They're easier to see once they, they move and are agitated somewhat on the net. We collect insects with some forceps that we have. We can look at them through magnifier boxes or a larger, larger magnifier here. And we collect them, we sort them and collect them into this ice cube tray. We can then count them and use some indices that we have to determine the environmental health of this stream system based on the aquatic invertebrates that we find. In the next video, we'll show you how we use this net in the ripple area to collect these invertebrates.